How's it going guys? We are back for another episode. So in this episode, we're pretty much just going to lift off from where we were in the last episode, basically. Um, we came down here and we had all this happening. So actually, at the end of that episode, I, I blocked all this off just in case. Because I was like, oh, if a mob gets in, at least at least we've sort of got something that's stopping them from coming in the house. Oh, another thing I did, I, I put that a little item frame up here as well. I finished off the corners part here. So we've got our layout now. So basically all we've got to do is just put our veranda out on the front and do whatever we come up with in here basically. So I'm thinking to start to start this off, I'll probably, I don't know, I'm thinking we'll probably work on this window here first. So in saying that, we'll work out how we want this to look. So I'm going to have a door in the middle here, but do I put glass all around it? Yeah, I don't know. Actually, another thing I just realized, we're, we're probably running, <laughs> we're running out of the oak log again. Because, oh yeah, we've got a stack here. It's, it's enough, but... For how long, I, I don't know. Might have to go mine some more later on. So I was originally thinking something like putting these on either side, pillaring up and then having the door in the middle. But then I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't, I'm don't i not going to like that. So it's probably just going to be a simple door in the middle and glass all around it. But in saying that as well, I don't know if, if I put paint, like glass panes all around it, it might not match up to the door 100%. Yeah, okay, so this is what I mean. So it won't match up with the door that great. And it, to me, that looks a bit gross. So I may actually have to put a full glass block in here like this. Like there's the glass around it. But yeah, I'm just going to have to hope that that works out really. But yeah, we've got, we've got enough sand to smelt down some like glass blocks and whatnot. But the thing is, it's all these small things where I just haven't found like a big sand dune biome. Where I, I, I think I have, I can't remember, but like where I can just go and pretty much just mine a heap of it and bring it back. So I can't remember where one is. So that's our, that's one of our problems. Actually, while we're up here, we might grab, we might grab just some leaves and stuff because we will need that for down there as well. Okay, so how does that look? Does that look weird? I don't know. I'm trying to work out how, I work out like how I feel about it. Yeah, I reckon we'll leave it. We'll have it looking like that. So now that we've got that in, I'll just chuck, I'll put a chest here too, so we can just chuck some stuff in it we don't need for the time being. Well, basically at the moment, we'll just work on our on our roof here, because we're going to get this sorted out. So I'll, I'll start with the roof, and then once this is all sorted, we'll start looking at the walls and where we want some of our stuff to actually sit. Alright, so that's our roof all sorted. Um, this is all enclosed now, so we don't have to actually worry about anything coming in and whatnot. So now that the roof's all sorted, uh, we're gonna start. We're gonna start looking at these walls. So we're gonna work out how how we want this to look and where we want our tools and stuff to sit. But before we actually get into that, I just realised down here, I can just hear these spiders constantly. It's so annoying. So I'm actually gonna just dig down here. I'm just gonna light this cave up a bit and kill a few of them. Oh god, okay, we've got like a proper cave down here. Oh man, we got like, this is like war down here, Jesus. What on earth is going on? How, where, where does this cave even go? Oh, what the hell? Oh, so it's a little cave that's just in the side here. Oh great, there's another creeper. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh my god, there is creepers everywhere in here. Yeah, this goes for ages. Like for a little cave we just found under one of our rooms, this is um... This is pretty cool. Some iron and everything in here. Anyway, I'll, I'll get back to you soon. I'll just, I'm just going to mine all these bits of coal and iron, some bits we need, because we actually are running very low on coal. Man, I kind of, I'm not going to lie, like, I kind of want to build something in here. <laughs> I, it's actually really cool. But man, I, I say all these things, like, oh, we should do this and that, but you can't keep up. There's like, that's the thing with Minecraft. There's so many ideas just to do. Like, there's so many things you can do in the game, it just never ends. Man, there's actually so much coal in here. Like, I mean, I, I was boiling down those those glass blocks before. I was looking at the, like, how much coal we had in there, and I was like, oh, no. We're actually running really low on coal. Like, there's a couple furnaces that have got nothing in them, and I've only got, like, a stack, a spare stack of it in one of my chests. So I pretty much have none. But it's good to come down here and light all this up as well. Just because mobs will start spawning in here. And then we're going to have to listen to them while we're up in our house and whatnot. And it'll just be a pain. It'll be like the skeletons that got caught up in the roof of the house on ground. And then I didn't know where it was coming from for ages. And then I finally worked it out near the end. Oh man, this thing leads into like... Oh no, we've been down here. Oh, okay. Oh, there's heaps of coal though. I could really go with it. But no, nah, not yet. No, nah. this episode's not about mining. Well, at least we know where a bit of coal is. Alright, I think it's time to run out of here now. 
All right, so we got like three stacks of coal, so that was actually quite worth it. And to the stuff we're gonna actually put in there would be the grindstone. I'll probably chuck a blast furnace in there. But one thing I do know, we, we need to make an anvil. Remember, they were pretty expensive to make. So it's three of them, and then, because that was at the top, wasn't it? And then it went like this. Yeah, sweet. So we've got ourselves an anvil. I'll probably make another grindstone, actually. So I'm thinking we can have them sitting on blocks like this, maybe. And then, like we can have, so that'll be... A furnace thing, whatever you want to call it. What is it? The oh, blast furnace. We can have an anvil here. And then we can chuck our grindstone on here. What can we do for behind? This is where it gets a bit interesting. Okay, so I've moved the wall out. Um, I think we've got some jacko lanterns here. So I've got to work out lighting as well. Do we have the lighting like this? Yeah, I'm really not liking this design. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna just strip this back out. Because to me, I'm, I'm trying to come up with something. But I'm just not liking how it's looking. So I'm going to come up with a whole different look. Man, this place is getting really like long to just run around in. Alright, so this is the design I'm thinking about at the moment. Something like this. Where it has like an arch in it. Um, I'll just have to make some more of these slabs. Something like that. But then... If I have leaves or whatever in here, I don't know. I feel like this needs to be pushed somewhere. Like I don't know. I don't like how this is sitting here now. If I do it this way, we can have our leaves all in here. Okay, so this is looking sort of alright. I think we'll chuck like we'll have these all sitting up here like this. So we've got a bit of light behind it as well. So I think I think this is how I'm gonna go with it. Cause that looks alright, something like that. And then I'll have the same pattern over on this side. I'll just pretty much copy the same thing I've done there onto this side. All right, so I've just copied the same design over to here now. So I think that's the look I'm going to go for because you can walk in, you can walk through comfortably as well and you've got your stuff on the side here that or whatever we want to use. Um, it's going to be a bit of doubles. Oh, do I make another anvil? It's only because I, it's an expensive thing to make, but I oh, will do it anyway. I'll go make another anvil. Oh man, these anvils are so expensive. We've gone through a stack just to build this thing. Now I need more iron. Okay, we're down to two stacks. Where have we even been using all the iron? So we only got a couple stacks of iron left, so I don't know where we're putting it all. Besides the anvil I just made. Actually, this is the one thing I forgot. Stone cutter. Damn it, I just made an anvil. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that sucks. That's actually really rough. <laughs> I knew I was forgetting something. Oh man, so there was, no, there was no need for me to actually make an anvil. Yeah, so I've got our stone cutter here. I just, I completely forgot about it. There was no need to make that extra, this anvil. I mean, actually, we can chuck the anvil at, at our enchantment table anyway, so I guess it works out. I'm like, hey, that's us sorted now. So we've got all, our, all of our gear here. I think that's all we need, really. So then now, we're just going to sort out the floor. Okay, so for the anvil, I'll probably just chuck that up here like that. That'll look alright, I think. Yeah, we'll leave it up there. It'll be fine. All right, so we got our lighting in. We got rid of our torches. We definitely need a light up in the top here. And actually, I got dirt on me, so I'm gonna have to put some dirt over here because it's leaking the water again. All right, so all that's sorted now. Just chuck that up in the ceiling there. Uh, actually, no, we need we need one trap door. All right, now it's sorted. So this is our room finished now. All right, so we got our birch outline, like the timber for the flooring here. And I'll probably try to work out because the carpet's going to go in here. So I'm just trying to work out how I'm going to actually have this, like, make it look. Actually, what I'll do, I'll go, I'm going to need a lot of orange carpet. But what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to dye a couple more of them sheep, just the orange color. Because we're, we're starting to need it. Because we've got to, like, finish off up here as well, the outline. Like, as you can see, I've done little bits off camera through here. But it's not, it's going too slow. So I'm going to have to put more dye on the sheep. There we go. Because we're really needing this carpet. I was meaning to do that a while ago, actually. Make more orange ones. Alright, so already I just quickly sheared them. I got 24 pieces of carpet. So uh, it's working out pretty well. Definitely definitely worth making a few more of them sheep orange. So what I was thinking, I'll just start with the outline first. So this comes through like that. Um, I'm probably going to run short again here. We'll be getting it all quick anyway. It doesn't look that bad at all. Like, I mean, it was never going to be some insane room it's just a just a little mason sort of room so um and actually one thing i do want to add i'm trying to add like little pots in somewhere have like a little pot in each corner just a bit more decoration in here yeah that looks all right sweet so this is this is heaps good now so we'll be able to get this done and even off camera i might be able to get the rest of like upstairs here finished like all this outline in here all right so that's this room done now i just Put, finish putting the carpet down. I've gotten out to here now. I'll probably leave it at that for here. 
because obviously we've got to add in this room here and sort all this out and whatnot. But yeah, that's this is how it's actually looking. So this is our mason room. I reckon it looks awesome. It's, turn, it's turned out all right, but now it's just we're coming out to here. We're gonna work out something for this. But now it's like, what do we do here? Because this is gonna be quite interesting, actually. Yeah, okay. I might have to go get a shovel. So I'm put some. I'm gonna put some dirt around over this first. Now I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to like take this whole piece of the mountain here out. Man, it's it'll be worth it. It would be good having it like a balcony out here. Alright, we've got our diamond shovel this time, just to make things go a bit quicker. We've taken all this part here out, it's just more... I've got to work out, I've got to shape this so it looks half alright as well. So it's more this big chunk up here I've got to somehow sort out. Okay, so I've been shaping this a little bit now, and it's more up the top here I think I've got to sort. Yeah, I'm just going to fill this here with dirt because i don't want to get some creeping up towards this other window here so it's really hard actually trying to make this look all all sort of normal i mean that's all right we can leave it like that so i've sorted out this whole chunk of the mountain now so we can start looking at this balcony i think but how do i want this balcony to look do i want it to be stone i think i'm actually going to go stone with this one to be honest okay so i've used the the stone the smooth stone blocks as like the outline and I've just got to work out what I want on the inside. But I have I have this other thought where I might use like this stone, the stairs like upside down if I can, like that. Just so it has a good look on the outside. So I'll just see how that looks anyway. Yeah, so it'll, it'll stick out like that sort of. Alright, it's a better view here. So you're going to have that as the edge. I can't get back over to it. Oh, there we go. So on these, where these stairs are, this is where I'm going to have the railing. I'm going to have iron bars as the railing. Because I think the timber might look a bit funny on it. Alright, so I'll just clear the inside of it out here. And I'm going to make this smooth stone brick look come around like that. Do the same on this side as well, just so it keeps the outline. Because you can see it through the glass, so you only need like two blocks in there like that. And then I'll clear this out, and then it's just working out. I've got to try and work out what we actually want to have in the centre here. Okay, so I have got a bit of an idea here. So what I'm doing, I'm actually going to have like a big... So it's sort of like a pattern in it, just so it has a bit more detail in it. Okay, so we've got that in it. And what else can we add? We will probably put some cobbled deep slate in it, actually. Would that look alright? Something like this. It goes around the edges. I mean, do you reckon that looks alright? I don't know, it's probably a bit of a weird pattern, but like it just makes it look pretty cool. Something a bit different. I mean, it's something different. I, I, actually, don't, I actually don't mind it, to be honest with you. I actually kind of like it. But yeah, now let us know in the comments what you guys think. You can be brutally honest. You can be like, yeah, it's rubbish or whatever. Yeah, I reckon it looks pretty cool, actually. All right, so we're onto our iron bars now. We'll just chuck these around. These will be the last thing I put out here. But one thing I realized, I don't like how this is going to look. Actually, I'm just trying to work out. Do we put, like, stone... I don't know, just something on the ends here, just so it looks a bit better, I guess. I don't know if that really makes a difference, but I'll leave it like that. Looks weird with it just going into the dirt the way it was. All right, so that's, that's pretty much our whole deck out here now. And I'll just take this part here out a little bit as well just trying to neaten up some of the edges on some things here all right so that's us completely finished i just shaped a bit more of the side here up as well got that looking a little bit better um, i might just take that out there we go but yeah that's that's our whole deck now so i'll run over here and just see how it looks i reckon that looks awesome actually off the side of the mountain so look at that for a view that's probably actually one of the best ones i got. It's all turned out really cool. I actually like this area we've added down here. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to wrap up for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. It was good fun doing this. We made up a heap of things on the way, like that deck. I, I didn't expect anything to look like that. But that's what I love about it. I'll just go through and pretty much build. And I've, just, I've made all this up as I go, so it's good fun. If you've liked it, be sure to smash the like button, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.